Hi and welcome, I'm Kristen Fulci, the brand strategist, website designer, and commercial photographer for creative businesses. Today I'm going to show you how to add a Flowdesk pop-up to your Shopify website. So the Shopify website that we'll be using as an example today is Sip Creative, and this used to be KF Stock Studio if you've been following along um, with the previous videos. And we're undergoing a rebrand and you're getting to see behind the scenes of it all. So um, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you're logged into Shopify as well as Flowdesk. Um, that way you can follow the next few steps with ease. Um, we're gonna jump into Flowdesk first. So if you haven't designed your pop-up already, you're gonna wanna design that. Go ahead and click Forms, Create New, Customize, and Customize Your Form. So add in your image, add in your text, get it all customized. We have ours already done. I uh, have it up over here in another tab. And this is the actual pop-up that we'll be using for SIP Creative. So um, once you're done customizing, go ahead and click next up here. Answer all of these questions and click continue. Um, I've already answered it for our forms, so I can kind of skip through those. Um, and then this is the part um, where it can get a little bit tricky because we're heading into code. Um, we end on this embed section up here, and um, the very first thing we're going to need to do is copy the code. So we're going to click copy, get that all copied to the clipboard, and we're basically done with Flowdesk. Um, we're going to be heading into Shopify now where we can go ahead and paste that copied code. So head over to your Shopify tab. Once you're there, go ahead and click online store. It'll automatically take you to the theme section. And then over here on your live theme, we're gonna click this actions drop down, and then edit code. Um, once we click edit code, it's gonna bring up all of our theme files. And then over here on the left, you're gonna to want to click theme.liquid. Um, so you may have to look through any of these folders if they're not um, opened up for you, but it'll be theme.liquid that you'll be looking for. Click that, it opens up this file over here, and we need to paste that code that we just copied before the ending head tag. So if we look right here on line three, here's the beginning head tag, we just need to scroll to find the ending one. So I'm gonna scroll for a little bit, and you can see that ours is right here on line 64. So this is specifically what you're gonna be looking for in your theme. It may not be on line 64, every theme is different. Um, we do also have some code here for a Flowdesk inline form. So if you want both an inline form and a pop-up form, you can definitely have both on your website, not a problem at all. So um, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit return or enter a couple of times here. Um, and then I'm gonna add ours on line 66 and paste in that code. So Command V, Control V, get that pasted in. The main thing is you wanna make sure that this code is pasted in before the ending head tag. Um, and then go ahead and click Save. Um, and that's it, that's literally it. You've completed all of the steps. Um, I know that Flowdesk mentions that you need to add this code into every single page, but the way that Shopify works, where we're adding it is the theme.liquid file, and that literally refers to your theme as a whole. So no matter where somebody enters your site, they will still see the pop-up, even if it's not on your homepage. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Sip Creative so we can click refresh and you can see your final outcome. I have hours popping up after about five seconds. So we're gonna wait just a sec. There we go, and your pop-up is complete. If you haven't already signed up for Flowdesk, you can snag 50% off with code Kristen Fulci, and that is going to bring down um, your monthly subscription to $19 a month. Um, and I'll go ahead and leave that code in the comments below. Um, but if this helped you get your pop-up all set up on Shopify, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.